Today we're going to talk about the fixed firefighting foam system. Uh, the PPE for today would be your general uh, level D PPE. This is the foam tank itself, the foam indicator, the level there. This is the foam servicing report, doing a chemical analysis of it. This is the firefighting service report saying that it was inspected within the last year. Part of the inspection of the foam system is the foam analysis report. They're going to do this uh, once a year after it's been in there for three years. There's a chemical analysis on it. And then the big thing is make sure in the bottom that the analysis passed. Okay, part of the inspection of the foam system is making sure that there are instructions uh, on the foam tank so that any member of the crew would be able to fire the foam system. This is the manufacturer's instructions. The crew has put this on, has very simple steps. One, start both the fire and uh, general service pumps, open the main water supply valves, open the foam supply lines and valves, start the foam pump, open deck monitors and hoses as required. All right, let's look at the different components within the foam system. For foam to work, it has to have firefighting water. So we would have to start the fire pumps. Once we have the fire pumps running, we'll have to open up the water supply to the foam system. So once the firefighting water is going, we'll have foam being introduced. This valve has to be put in the open position. Foam will flow. Once we get uh, the valve there opened up, we're gonna have foam flowing. This is an electrical motor driving the pump. The pump is gonna be pushing water. We've got another foam valve to open up to allow the foam to start heading up to the cargo deck. So the foam, this is high expansion foam. It's traveling into the stream of firefighting water and then it's gonna be heading up to the deck to the deck monitors. So on deck, we're also gonna look at the foam monitors, foam cannons themselves. Uh, the foam cannons are designed to overlap. So if we had a fire on deck, they could energize the foam system, spray a blanket of foam down, get to that monitor, uh, spray more foam on deck, and get to the fire. One of the other steps we wanna make sure we check is if there's any remote operating stations, check those to make sure they're in operating order. This vessel does not have a remote operating station. In summary, for the inspection of the fixed foam systems, we've identified any hazards in the appropriate PPE, the presence of the foam systems, operation of the main fire isolation valves, presence of applicators and monitors, locations of main operating stations, foam analysis certificate. We've looked at the location of remote operating stations. If you have any additional questions, get a hold of your local verifying officer.